All right, in this video, I want to share with you a very, very important command that you should be aware of and you should take extra careful when using it. So in the previous video, I've showed you how to create this database called test. And let's say that for some reason you want to get rid of this database called test, i.e. delete. So to create a database, you simply say create and then database, and then you give it a name, in our case, test. To delete a database, you simply say drop and then database, and then the actual name. So, and also make sure to end that with a semicolon. I'm not just gonna run it yet because I wanna stress out why this is very dangerous. So it's dangerous because Let's say that you have this database called test with five or 10 years worth of history. So that could be, you know, uh, if you have a business, that could be, for example, custom information, addresses, emails, uh, you know, the transactions that they made, login credentials, so on and so forth. So if you were to run this command on that database, this means that all of its content is lost in a matter of milliseconds. Really, it's just that quick. So when you have, for example, a production application and you log in or SSH into your box, you should never run this command because you will lose pretty much every single data in it. And often if you SSH or login into a remote database, then you should have access or some kind of monitoring to see what people are allowed to do. And because I'm teaching you Postgres, it's absolutely fine for us to experiment with this command. After all, we don't have any important data in that database, right? So let me go ahead and press enter. And you can see that the database is gone in a matter of milliseconds. Let me go ahead and press backslash and then L. And you can see that the database is gone. So no data in it. So often as well, if you have one database, you have to make sure that you have a backup of your data in case of any eventual accidentally loss of information. So let's go ahead and recreate this database because we're gonna need it throughout this course. So create and then database and then test. And make sure to end that with a semicolon, otherwise the command won't execute. So I'm gonna press enter. And if I go ahead and press control L and then backslash and then L, you can see that we have our database back again. So. The point of this video was really to stress out how dangerous it is to execute any kind of drop command. And this is all for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me on the next video. See ya.